So without further ado, let's jump right back into old my and hold my cube. I can't remember what it was called. Was it hold my hold my cube? That's it. Okay. So, to reiterate the point, yesterday was a write-off. We didn't make any progress, but there, I don't think we can prog progress any further to where we are. So, what we now need to consider is what we could potentially do differently. So, initially, there are a couple of things we could do. So, first of all, I think I'm going to leave both the cubes here just for now and I'm going to set this up where we've got both laser and light bridge because having laser and light bridge will give us the best or the most potential op opportunities is that, is that what I'm trying to say? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's what I'm trying to say at all. Okay. So. We have laser and light bridge. Oh, running out of airboats, are we crazy? Also, thanks for the host. I did see the host. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. So what can we do from here? All right, ignore what I just did. What if this was a thing we had? So, what? Pepsi Max doesn't come out till night time, Doctress. So, black coffee will have to do. <laughs> oh, it's still a little bit hot at the minute. Uh, thanks to both you for redeeming those rewards. Okay, so what if instead then? Oh wow, there's like three of them in a row. Take care of all three of them for me, Mika, please. Thank you. Alright, so let's put our portal back on here. Obviously we have to go through the Fizzler at the moment because the map has broken. That portal there. And then we would have that there. Alright. Already I'm going to go back to my... Um, I'm going to go back to my previous, because I just saw something there. So, in effect, this is what I was just working towards here. So, this is the thing we have. Ah, okay. So, by doing this, I'm actually... Messing everything up. 
Okay, but... By doing that... That allows me to... Um... Well, I need to go and take... I need to go swap cubes. I don't need to swap the cubes, I just need to change the cubes. So... Let's point this in. Let's just point it there for now. Because we don't want it just to point and respawn this when we go back to pick up that. So from here, we're then going to um, reset this bit up. I'm um, good, thank you. Good, thank you, Doctress. How about yourself? Hopefully, um, things are a little bit better than they were for you at the beginning of the week. I know you was struggling at the beginning of the week. Hopefully things are a little bit better. And uh, hey Fobbly, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Uh, I did the wrong thing. Bottom. Sorry, brain is not engaged. Which is not particularly good. This sort of puzzle. Now I'd be able to shoot a portal there. Put a portal there. Walk across to here. Still stressful. Sorry to hear that, Doctoress. Okay. That gives me that and that. So from here now... I can do this to go up to here. This to go to here. Now this... Okay, things are happening. Things are starting to happen. Or oh, different situations, at least. Okay. So here, what I would do then is portal to here. Right? Because if I portal there, that hits the catcher. I can... This would be turned off. And I could walk through here. Hey, don't worry. Don't worry about it. You take whatever time you need. So then if we did this, we could do this. Which gets us into here. I sort of had a bit of a thing at the beginning of the stream, probably, and I said, you know, looking back at yesterday, I was so fixated on the fact that what I had done was progress, and the way what I'd done was, like, what I needed to do, rather than thinking, okay, ignore all of that, keep it on the back burner, and what else can we do? And I feel, personally, that's the way I approached Isotope. And for, for me, during Isotope, it served me so well because when I got to different parts of the puzzle, I'd already like worked out little bits from thinking it was progress and not progress and such. So, yeah, I'm quite frustrated with myself in a way that I hadn't thought of that sooner or I hadn't gone down that sooner. Okay, so... Do I want to save here? What can we do from here? And if I'd move the light bridge to there. Okay. Do that. And we could do that. We could block it from coming across. Alright. So I'm going to save there. We'll do that. And we'll do that. Okay. So now I have a cube in this area.
cubes of the light bridge. They are not friends, it seems. Okay, so we could do that. We've done that. I wonder, however, if the cube should have been the other way around to start with. Yeah. Okay. Let's replay this scenario, but with cubes in the other place, because I would hazard a guess that it's going to be more useful to have cubes in other locations. So, how do we go? How are we going to get this set up again? Um, okay, we can just do this, can't we? This will clear off the button. This is going to go across to there. We pick up the laser. Um, that was something actually that Aaron did for me. Doctress. Okay, so now we have that. We can do that. We'll open up this. Then we come back to do that. Walk over to here. Take the cube. Take it back. There is, uh, I'm sure there's guides and things on the internet for doing it. But personally, I, I don't know how to do it personally. Okay, we do that, and we do that. I think, if I remember rightly, it's you add a load of stuff to the DLC, one of the DLC folders, or you create a DLC folder, and then that kind of overrides. That's the way Aaron did it for me anyway, I think. Alright, so we've done this, we've done this, and now we are... To there. Let me take this cube over to the other side. Which is that, that, and that. DLC 3 custom file. There we go. Okay. Now we have this, we go there, back up to here, change the portal to there, turn this cube around, like that, save there just so we don't have to do that again. If we have to swap the cubes again though I might just fly around and do it with no clip because um, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a pain to reset this up every time. Okay, so that goes there. That would open the Fizzler. We would walk through to here. Oh, wow, there's like a funnel and everything behind there. What is actually behind here, which... Hmm. I wonder if there's like something to do with the funnel, maybe as to why it's disappearing. Yeah, who knows. Alright, so then we go down here. And from here... We 
do this and this. Now, yes, right. This is why I swapped the cubes because now we have the ability to go through here. And here. Where does that help? How does that help? Do we want that there? Okay, maybe here what I want to do instead is swap the cubes at this point. I could swap the cubes. And then I could put this one here. So with that one there, I could then... Keep the portal there. I think I can then go around and I can set everything up again, can't I? Alright, we'll leave this portal here for now. And uh, now we need to go back and get the laser. Because I think one of one of my sticking points what yesterday was the fact that I needed to have a cube on that other side. I'm sure it was. But I need to set this up now in a way. That's okay, so we just turn this round. Man, that car that laser's even glitching out. It's weird. Okay, so we do this. Then we go back. So we'll do that to open the Fizzler. That for a portal. That for a light bridge. Walk across here. Okay. Now, if I've got this right, what should happen is... I'll stand on the button, the panel will lift up, it will cause the blue cube to respawn and go over to there, make, meaning on here I can go up the panel, I can then walk through the light bridge to pick up the cube, replace it in position, um, swap it out and do the end of the move. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. What if I do this? Uh, okay. Um, I 
Whoops. Is that seriously too high for the catcher? No. Didn't think it was too high for the catcher. Okay, so do that. Then I walk across here. Take the cube. Put it there for safety. Yeah, I mean, it's not too big a deal. Um, pretty much always got mods in the chat anyway. And I don't want to restrict the ability for you guys to be able to post links and stuff so if you ever want to so then well um, just goes to show that I wasn't like a million miles away really, was I? So what I worked out previously and I was so stuck in my head was, was as I thought was the end move. But after like spending all that time on this yesterday, I really should have like come to my senses and I should have realised and thought to myself, well actually I can't progress from here so let's go somewhere else but I don't know why I was so stuck in my head that that was the way I needed to do it but yeah um, just like that within like what was it 23 minutes today on that map oh well let's move on to the next one let's move on to the next Hey, we got potato. This is preload, the preload, prelude from uh, of Von. Of Von. It's a map that I've never been fully happy with yet. Somehow now I'm feeling decently proud of it, and I'm ready for your criticism. And now I want it. This map is early play testing. There may be bugs or glitches, so please comment any you find. If you play this map, you could if you could record it, that would be lovely. Well, guess what? We are doing just that. Um, so not a lot of changes have happened. I may have to mute this depending on things and stuff. It's obviously a hammer map. I don't know if this is... I'm just going to mute the game sound because I don't know if it is um, portal music or not. Um... This almost seems reminiscent of something, and I can't think of what it is now. Right. Not pro strats. Neato.
Uh, yes. <laughs> we did. Welcome, Mike. Hope you're well. Oh, so how do I get up there? That's interesting. There is a button just there, as you can see. <laughs> lies, it's all lies. Where am I going? For? Oh, I suppose I could do that, maybe. Then I go around here. Duh. I think Dust P2K's map has frazzled my brain. Okay. So we have a cube. What are we going to do with the cube? I quite like the fact that this like walkway and everything like, comes around and actually into the chamber. It's pretty neato. It's pretty neato. You don't know what to believe? Don't believe the lies. That's all you gotta do, Mike. Don't believe the lies. Don't believe the lies. All right, well, I guess I'm taking the cube over here. And... Well, I guess the, you gotta go back, right? And then refling. There's no game sound at the moment, Mike, because there's... Um, they're using custom music in this map, so I don't know if it's safe or not for uh, copyright reasons. So I've just muted the game sound for now. I apologize. I think to this day, Fabric is probably the only game where I have literally rage quit and never been back to because, yeah, I didn't like it. Look at that button glow, it's glowing quite a lot. I think that's the map. Nice simple puzzle, but I guess it was more of a personal experience or a personal adventure for yourself to actually, um, more of a personal experience for you to kind of like develop your hammer maps. And that's the sort of thing that I've always wanted to do. So, oh, it's glitched. Um, well, that was pretty cool. Nice visuals. I really like the chamber as well. And now we have a second one from Off Von, and this is Relativity. Let's have a quick look at the description. Yikes. Uh, medium? Question mark. Relativity is, relativity is a relatively nice map, relatively speaking. A quickie I made because I got bored for the last two hours. This is the time I spent not sarcastic like last time. It's a map using funnels and gels. Oh, and there's some momentum too. I was inspired throughout by how the campaign handles gel with old aperture, within old aperture and how the campaign handles funnel and gel interactions within Wheatley Science. Uh, music is Port Stories Mel. So if you don't have it installed, you won't hear anything. Probably won't hear anything then. Made with B2.4 and tested by themselves. <laughs> My lunch stream is your just woke up stream. Welcome to the future. This Terrible. next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy to think like how, how what, <laughs> It's like when I first started kind of streaming and, and doing 
this sort of stuff, I would have never sort of imagined that there'd be like so many different people here from so many different um, like countries and stuff. It's 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 bizarre. It's bizarre. But I appreciate you all. Thank you very much, everybody who does come and uh, hang out. I come, you come, you hang out, you want to put me through hell by donating airboats. that that probably wasn't intended. Also, how long is this timer? But oh, I'm going to roll with it for now. Because now we get to fly. A little bit. Um, I don't know, Eddie, because at the moment my kids are... Um, obsessed with one of them's obsessed with Celeste, and the other is um, playing. I don't know what. Although I should know because every time he comes to the kitchen table, it's uh, I get a running commentary of everything that he's done in the game. But uh, yeah, I I don't uh, think that they've seen it. Weighted cubes calibrated. Weighted cubes calibrated. Excellent. So. Uh, he's not obsessed with my children. It, what it is, is um, I said to him, not so long. In, when I was playing Portal Reloaded, he was... And he used to come into my streams when I was playing... Um, when I was playing Celeste originally, my original playthrough of Celeste, he used to come into my streams and he used to kind of offer me up fake advice, which my kids, um, when they watch my Celeste videos back um, from time to time, they picked up on this and they were like, oh, Eddie, when Eddie's in your stream, Eddie trolls you all the time. So now, since I told Eddie that, um, every time he just sort of asks... Um, whether or not my kids have seen his latest advice, which is why uh, that, so. There was a competition map a few weeks ago. Nice. I meant to like. That's better. That's what we wanted. There we go. Uh, Tell you what, though, let's just get some more gel here. Make things a little bit easier to get up and hit this button. We will repaint the town orange. Alright, so I'm going to want to get past the funnel, so we will do that, we will do that, and we will also do this. And now we can get a cube on this one. Just maybe. Gonna do. Do with some bounce here. There's some bounce there.
none there. I wonder. Follow myself up. Oh yeah, they're all back to front. Well spotted, fumbly. I think I need to get bounce gel here. Bounce up. Don't think. No, not great enough to do that. Um okay, okay. Internet is terrible. Looks to be Eddie right now. I need to do this actually instead, don't I? Over here. Uh, pull there. I'll do. Let's see if I've got enough now. Are we? Portal funneling. I hate you so much. I don't think I've got enough here, though, to be fair. So we can do that and get ourselves up to here, but we need the cube on there, so we can't use the funnel to get up here in the first place. Maybe there's scope for something else here. Let's go and put the cube in positions. Actually, I shouldn't be doing that. I should be. I need to test. I mean, it would work if I did something like not as much momentum. Oh, I hit the button. When I hit the wall, it should then. Yeah, so I can do that. So that's it. That's what we can do to exit the chamber. Uh, we just need to get there. And I didn't turn off the do free flopsy thingy majiggy. Climb the pedestal button. Don't give 
me ideas, Fumbly. <laughs> You know what? That's probably the intended as well. That's probably what's intended. might also be the reason why the pedestal button is oriented that way. Uh. I don't know. Seems like there's multiple different things in that map that you could potentially do, so... You have mastered the principles of portal momentum. Like if you have, in fact... And we have another hammer map here. This is Backtracker. Let's have a look. No puzzle, thinking with portals, picture perfect submission. Okay. There is no puzzle. almost like the sort of thing I'm working on right now in Hammer. Just making an environment, not worrying about a puzzle, just seeing what I can make. But, um, yeah, this is uh, a lot of panel arms there. I don't really know. I, to be honest, I, I always look at these and I think, what are the panel arms actually for in Portal? And before you say anything, I know that it's to do with like the, the actual panels on the chamber to move them, but I just don't see how they would actually function in the real world. I don't tend to use them myself because I just don't see. I, I don't. I can't logically grasp in my head what they do and, and why they're there. But anywho. Like kind of is a bit out of place. Better have a spotlight rather than a strip light there, I uh Good on, Sam. Um, where else for me to go here? Do I, do I need to do some parkour? That's just that's just the void. That's, that's, you know, you've explained that a lot better than I did, Fumbly, but that's pretty much what I was getting to. I mean, if, if they were, like, attached to different things, like you say, then that would be, it would be better and more understandable, more believable, but... Is that all the map is in? We just go to the chamber and that's it? Kind of expect a little bit more when... Uh, 
I don't remember you showing any videos, Eddie. Yeah, so... Oh, so that's literally it then. It's just the environment. Well, we jumped off the void. And I think we found the end. Literally just killed ourselves. Ah, uh, where did we get to? Where did we get to? All right, next up is... Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Given that the last one was a 6 out of 10, this should be around the same sort of thing. In small introductory room is to show some working principles. Ninja moves are divided by nine ten. Cubes do not don't auto respawn as per most of your maps. Um, laser collision with player is off, and recovery room may be used if you're stuck. Recovery room. Okay. Okay. It's only one up, though, supposedly, from the previous map of P2K's uh, crazy, so I guess we'll see. First, though, I need more coffee. All right, let's go. Let's go. This is tutorial room. Seems whack. Okay, so it's bootstraps that kind of. Okay, well. Okay. So that's our tutorial. Uh, we did Space Kit and welcome along. Hope you're well. So, Leo, what's going on? I think, did I say hello to Leo? I think you've just popped up from somewhere, haven't you? No, I would agree with that. Don't know what it teaches either. Right, so, number one. I guess number one comes first. Gives us that. So to exit, we need the same setup here. Have a laser coming this way. Maybe. Excuse me. Spawn up there. Yikes. Hey, in different shops going on. Um, well, we have dot signage, Mika. Whether it's helpful or not is out for the jury. We're stuck at the beginning of this for 3,000 years straight. Damn. Older than Jesus. Can 
No, I'm not going to do that. Can't possibly do that iron. Alright, so... Missing a... Oh, okay, so that opens that, which does that. First move should open this power here then, right? That's not much help. Right. Mind you of beacon. Maybe I'll check it out. Maybe I will check it out. Oh, hold on a minute. Okay, that wasn't particularly obvious, I'll be honest. Okay, so... We do this, this, this. This. Hi back. Said to none. That could be why. Now that might also explain my high levels in coding and stuff and things. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, we're at 39,000 for the CBT. 39. 80%. Oh my goodness. I don't know, that seems more stuttery now, though. Seems more stuttery. Let me know what you guys think of the quality. Whether or not, if it's got worse, let me know. Okay, so. Oh, it seems so much. Uh, why is like portals and like running really crappy on my machine. I never used to have any problems at all. That seems semi-decent at least. Okay, so we have this. Put this on here, then I can use the laser. Here we go up here.
This allows us to go back to there. That allows me to reverse funnel. And a reverse funnel would allow me to go backwards. I don't know, it's running in just it's like OBS is like running at like a very poor like 18 frames per second, which is god awful. Even me, I my camera seems like very juddery. Can somebody help Iron? He's stuck in a loop. this helps me though um, it gets me back over to here the cube is in safety but um, Oh, well, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. drop down and go through here like doctress hang in appreciate it as always I mean that works to a point until works to a point, although I don't know how to get this cube, because Exploded. So not only are you like 3,000 years old, your brain also exploded. Okay, I know what I should have done wrong. Well, what I should have done wrong? I know what I did wrong. So what I should have really done is this. And I should let the cube travel all the way across to this side of the map. I can do this. Okay. I 
And yes, that is an espresso. I thought I'd best have an espresso because this map. Okay, so I could now block this laser. I'm gonna fight about it. I'm gonna fight about it, Leah. I can't even tell you who it is. I'm gonna fight about it, Mike. Come at me, bro. I'll take you on. <laughs> Brits know best. And therefore, coffee is greater than tea. What I'm thinking here is I could. Angle. Getting here is the important part of this stage. I need to open this up here. Once I've done that, I can then use a laser to get that. Now, problem here is what? Can I get in there, I wonder? No, I can't get in there. Can I get over there? So what I'm thinking is... My setup needs to be... I'm British. 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 No turt in there. <laughs> so what I'm thinking my setup needs to be is... Swap the cubes. Because all good puzzles have cube swaps. across here. The no cube swaps and desolation. I'm following that mod. How is this cube like lined up? Hmm, it's facing that way. Okay, so I can't just respawn the cube there. Somebody explain to me why I wanted to do a cube swap. Anybody at all? Oh. I know why I wanted to do a cube swap. Okay, so what I... Did I need to do a cube swap? I don't know. I don't know, actually. Oh no, I can't do that. Sorry, I can't do it. I can't do what I wanted to do. I don't have a way over there. Hmm. What I was thinking was, while I was on the other side, now that that panel is open, I could pull myself across there. I want to. I I think I want to place a cube on here. The place a cube on there. The other cube goes over there, and then I can use the laser with... That. Yeah, I, so I position your cubes, I stand on here, I a portal to there and a portal to there. Then hits that cube, hits there, opens this, I fire a portal into there, I can then keep a portal there. 
pick up a cube and move the cube onto this button like so. And then... And then... Yeah, the other cube stays there, possibly. I need to... I guess I can grab the blue cube from here. But it would need to be respawned from there. But... Yeah. How dare you? How dare you make me play some of your maps? <laughs> Can't get past the intro room. I wouldn't even say it teaches anything like you don't already know. At least I didn't think it did. Allison from Team View. Delete your email later. Um What does that one do? That just turns off that there. Oh, I didn't realise that was on a th Ah, okay, that's interesting. I didn't realise that was on a ledge as such. Okay, so I think I've got some good starting ideas. Um, but yeah, this is definitely number one. Once we've got the laser coming through here, we would need to then get rid of that cube there. Which I don't know how we would do. See, I need... The reason I can't, like, walk through this when it's open is because I need to stand on the button. So I would portal to there. And then... I need to swap it to there, but I don't know how I would then get back through here. Which is the problem. Which is why I said I might need to get the other cube back so that I can then... The laser comes out of here. I angle this cube and then over to there. And then that one points still at the relay here. And then I can walk through and I can effectively bootstrap that temporarily. So I think that's what I need to do. Is just getting a cube onto there is question one. How do I do that? And then question two is... How do I... How do I... Um, how do I get... If there's a cube on there, how do I get that cube back to me? Because cubes don't automatically respawn. So yeah, we need to figure out how we do that, which cubes we need where. But they will all be questions for tomorrow, because unfortunately I am out of time for today. Thank you very much, guys, for hanging out and i appreciate it as always glad that we did get the other map um finished today especially after making absolutely no progress on it um yesterday whatsoever um but yeah we'll be back with this one again tomorrow so thank you very much like i said for watching enjoy the rest of your day i've been knock you've been awesome take care goodbye happy gaming